All right, what's up guys? Um, it's been a while since I've updated you with my road to debt freedom. Uh, I've tried to update this a couple times, but the videos lined up being super long and we all know what happens when you get long videos talking about one's debt. You lose the focus after a bit, and I know I do. I, I find it boring unless it's something that really engages you. So I'm gonna try to break this up into uh, little segments and I'm having issues with my hard drives and my computer, so I'm not going to be doing any editing. I'm just going to go straight, straight video. No, no cutting out the little uh, extra parts and whatnot. So uh, let's see. About a week ago, I was down to fifty-eight hundred dollars left of my credit or my debt. And so, what December twenty sixteen, I had twenty-eight, twenty-nine thousand dollars. I went to Japan January first for three months. I uh, tried to work as much overtime as I can, fought for a lot of overtime, and um, I'll end up paying down a good 20 grand, close to 20 grand. So when I came home April 14th, I had about $9,000 left. And since then, I've paid it down. Uh, I was down to $5,800 a week ago. I got a pretty good paycheck, so I paid it down another 800 so I'm down to five. I actually paid just a dollar over to where it's I I owe four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars and that's what I got left I don't have my little uh, sheet anymore where I was marking it off I don't know what, what happened to that between com coming home from Japan unpacking and everything else I've lost it so I might make another one maybe not been working a lot of overtime lately this past week I've worked 32 hours of overtime and I'm hoping this coming up week, it's Sunday now, the 16th of July, and I'm hoping I'm working another 32 hours of overtime. And my goal is, if I do that, I'm pretty sure I will have enough to put $2,000 down on my debt again. So, I'm on track. Some things happen with my truck and whatnot. I'll, I've already mentioned that in a re previous uh, video. I'm going to do that in another segment, talk about all that, but... Um, Problems with my truck put me back a little bit, so then I was like, crap, I guess I'll be able to pay off my debt probably by uh, December of 2017 here, by the end of the year, I'm hoping, but uh, it's looking good now. I will definitely pay off by December, but I'm still shooting on the extra goal of September, October. I'm really, really shooting for October, if not September, depending on what happens after this after this next paycheck, I think my overtime is going to dry up for a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm looking into selling some things to try to expedite um, paying off my debt. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, $5,000 left. Hopefully $2,000 in two weeks when I get my paycheck. Uh, so that'll be, bring it down to 3000 And so that, that should be the end of July. So August, September, two months to pay off 3000 so roughly 1500 each month. I think I could do it. Hope I can do it. So, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks guys for following. Um, I just want to give a little bit of advice. Life's going to throw curveballs at you. And this past month, this past month, it's thrown a big curveball where I almost had to pull out a a car loan just to go get another vehicle luckily I stuck with it and I'm able and I was able to fix my vehicle and whatnot but uh, that's another video video but yeah uh, life will throw curveballs at you. you just gotta stick with it you just gotta stay stay focused and this has been this has been a long year it's it's only been seven months into the year and another hopefully two it's gonna be two to five months now left but I will get my debt paid off this year it's been a hard year but looking back it's gone quick it's gone quick and I'm gonna be debt free and then I'm gonna be able to actually save money and buy stuff with cash and not have to worry about paying anybody else through interest you know just mindless interest here here's thanks for letting me borrow this money that I spent on crap here here's some extra money thanks no, when you get debt free, that, that money's yours. That money's yours. You can go out, 
you save up for what you want and then you uh, go buy the things you want with cash and it's it's gonna be great so definitely been a rough year but it's been a good year so uh, all you guys that are thinking about it please just go for it go for it you're gonna you're gonna be a lame you're gonna be that lame friend that doesn't do a whole heck of a lot you're not gonna go out partying or whatnot but you know what you're gonna be you're gonna be that friend that has more money not just hey look at all the stuff I have because I, I bought it on credit no you're gonna have you're gonna have more money you're gonna have more stuff you're gonna you're gonna be more more emotionally more whatever you're gonna be more stable you're gonna be more relaxed more calm you're not gonna be stressed out over this debt and, uh, and money and that's a lot of people are stressed out over money it's nice it's nice being in a position now where I'm not completely stressed out over money I'm just trying to figure out how to pay off the rest I have as soon as possible and it's actually starting to be fun it's kind of a game like what can I do now what can I do now do I go out and go do this all other stuff nope be lame find something else that's cheaper or free and just uh, save that money so yeah I'm just rambling now uh, but thanks guys for following uh, hit that like button if you uh, enjoyed it uh, please subscribe we just we just hit 100 subscribers. Uh, that's pretty cool. Never hit 100, 100 subscribers before, so that's pretty exciting. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around. See you guys.